which will include dogs that at a time, two banners that will hang up in the city entrance that's coming in, and yard signs. Um, that's going to run about $450, and then I allotted $100 for printing, but we've already done better as I went to City Hall today and made copies. So our budget for Spring Fest is going to come in at about $1,500. So um, I think that was it unless anyone has any questions for Spring Fest. Okay. Anyone have any questions for Dick? Okay. All right. Shall I move on? Uh, 8C. Yep, 8C. Decision request. Yes. Our first association. Well, as you all know, the Merchants Association formed in July of last year um, to um, basically plan and execute activity on behalf of the city. We steward that amount of the city budget that was planned and allocated towards um, activity. And as volunteers, we basically do all the work. Every single one of us that are in the Merchants Association own and operate their own businesses. And the good old 80-20 rule applies here too. So about 20% of us do 80% of the work. And it's getting to where we can't handle it. So we have um, discussed the possibility of adding an admin person to the Merchants Association to help us with the mundane things that I do on Saturday afternoons and my evenings off and my Mondays, such as making coffees and calling people and scheduling and um, sending files and that type of thing and doing interviews with the paper and planning and that sort of thing. So um, we've had some discussions with the city manager on what would be the best way to approach um, adding a support personnel to the Merchants Association. Um, having only a year and a half of experience here, I have to go on um, some backstory as to how the merchants had worked in the past with other downtown better home coordinators, that type of thing. So we thought it would be in the best interest of everybody working together if this person actually was a part of the HMA and worked for the HMA. Um, but because we don't have our own money, um, this would come out of the part of the budget that we steward, which I think the budget is currently at like about $28,000 that we steward, which here at May 4th, we've only spent $1,500 of that budget. So I think we're doing an amazing job in, you know, watching the dollars for the city. But that being said, we've got to have some help. And um, one of the ideas that came up was to actually work through a temp agency to bring someone in to help us. Um, some of the merchants have discussed that we could probably get by with about a 300-hour budget per year. That would be giving this person 300 hours per year to work with and they would budget that time as they see fit. Paying this person $10 an hour. Reporting to the HMA and working and being a part of the HMA. So after making a call to one of the personnel, staffing services and Valdosta team tent, um, we can work through them. They would send us a support person. They would charge us $14 an hour for that $10 an hour per person, per hour person. They would take care of all of the workman's comp, all of the taxes, social security, unemployment. Um, they would simply bill us on a weekly basis. That person would turn in their time card. They would pay them on a weekly basis and they would bill us for that person. So it seems like a really good scenario to get us the help that we need. Um, the uh, gentleman that I spoke to at the temporary service said that it might be better for us to vet that person and send, it, send that person to them as he would have a very difficult time finding someone to only work 300 hours per year. So we are looking at a few people here locally who are hay hire citizens who love this town, who perhaps are retired or just looking for something to do in their spare time, who are creative, who are organized, and who want to be a part of this, who are not afraid to work. So uh, the uh, officers of the HMA would sit down with these people and vet them thoroughly before sending them to the temp agency, and then they would become an employee of the temp agency working exclusively for the HMA. So based on a 300-hour budget for the year at $14, that's $4,200 that would come out of that portion of the budget that we steward. 
and we would pay that person ten dollars an hour. Now January and February, that first that person probably wouldn't do a whole lot. October, November, December, that person would be working a lot. So it would depend. Um, on the time of the year, the person would have to do a very good job in budgeting their time. We also felt like, and not that we wouldn't want to pay someone for their work, but we also felt like if it was somebody who was from here and loved pay hire like we did, they would probably work whenever they needed to. So that was the thinking behind getting us the support personnel in here. Honestly, if the merchants who are on the roster, who are actually members of the Merchants Association, if they would all get in and push up their sleeves and let's get to work, we might not have to do this, but unfortunately that's not the case. There's only two or three people who will actually get out and push their sleeves up and do the work. And we can't do that and run businesses and run our lives too. Um, we, you know, we try. We gave it our best he ho, but July will be a year, and we have a lot of activities still to come between now and the end of the year, and we simply just don't see a way to do it. When the events occur, which generally are on Saturdays, that's when most of us need to be in our stores working. Um, but me and a couple of other people, you know, put somebody in the store so that we can be there. So this would be, um, I think, a great opportunity for someone else to chip in and be a part of Tanghara and then give us um, the help that we need. That's not to say that as a merchant association we're going to back off. We're still going to do all the planning. You know, we're still going to do all the budgeting for the programs. Everything that we've done, we just need somebody to actually physically get in there and make some phone calls and do some heavy lifting. For our part, uh, staff thinks that this is an absolutely outstanding idea. Um, it strikes a uh, a healthy compromise between uh, some of the uh, uh, problematic issues that arose uh, in the previous iterations of the program and uh, the new partnership that we're striving for with the merchants uh, and the city. So uh, from the standpoint of uh, staff, uh, the uh, person would not be an employee of the city, uh, which was a little bit problematic. The person will actually be an employee of Team Tips Associate or the uh, Temp uh, Entity and reports to the Merchants Association. And the only relationship that exists on the part of the city is a contract, uh, whereby for this sum of money, we uh, allow this person to work for the Merchants Association. So it's clean, there's no indirect cost associated with it, there's no evaluation or other types of uh, other issues with respect to uh, personnel and staffing that you would get. Uh, and the person uh, directly reports to and receives their directives from the merchants themselves. So uh, it, it seems like it's a, it's a very good compromise. I also like this. Uh, I think it's, as long as you're keeping, you know, if you're coming out to budget, that, that, that budget for that amount, you as a group feel that this is um, uh, a good way to take that dollar and to maximize that dollar to help promote things that y'all are trying to do, which we all think are, are good things. Um, I, I, I do. I think it's a great way to just contract someone. And, uh, and that, that, that is, it, it does. It makes it very clean. It gets, puts you, instead of in the past, uh, uh, kind of working separately, you're working together. Right. Uh, they're working in your direction. Right. And, uh, and again, this is a part of the process of finding out what is the best way to promote right. our business. This is another part of that process. Right. It's a growing, it's a learning. That's right. It's a part of that process and I'm all for it. I think it's something we need to try and see if it helps. Further promote, help you, you folks right. further promote. Continue to do what you're doing and even better. And um, I, think it's, I think it's a good, good, way, to, good way to grow. I just, don't, I just don't think people realize what all the Merchants Association does on their own time as volunteers and um, the amount of time that it takes away from our businesses and our families. And we do it because we love it. But, you know, you can only do what you can do. Absolutely. And I think this would be a great use of a small percentage of that budget that would hopefully allow us opportunities to do other things and to bring more visibility to Hay Hyra. Um, by taking some of this burden off of us. With the two requests on the table, the balance of funds uh, within uh, supply promotional that the city allocated with the FY 
16 budget would still be somewhere north of $18,000. So, so still a very healthy balance for uh, for the remainder of the year's activities. Absolutely. One of the biggest activities that we'll have coming up in the very near future will be the July 4th celebration, which we are still in the planning stages for. But then it'll slow down until October, November, and December. One of the uh, merchants um, actually received a request from a citizen that they would like to see a Hey Hire newsletter printed on a regular basis and they wanted the Merchants Association to do it. And we all just laughed like, oh, when is that going to happen? But this would actually be a really good opportunity and something for the support person to do. They mentioned that since we had lost the gold leaves, that this would be a great way, a non-social media way to connect people again by issuing a newsletter and you know possibly dropping them in the mail or something. So it would be a great start for the support person. Is this recurring or just on an annual? We'll be on an annual basis. Um, the contract will just renew every year. Okay. But our plan is once we hire somebody, that person will be with us. Um, which is why we did entertain the idea of an intern, a non-paid intern, but they would be moving through, you know, every every few quarters or every year. They probably wouldn't be from a hire. They would obviously be um, a college age student and we just feel like that that's not appropriate for us at this time that we really need someone much more mature than that yeah choosing the person is going to be critical yeah I would, but but you said this the agency suggested maybe you guys find the person right to to them. Exactly. I, I, I definitely like that idea yeah i mean we based on um past history the vetting process is going to be thorough i can assure you of that a few names have already um come to the table that are local People who have, um, you know, perhaps retired, that um, husband still works and just looking for a little something to do, someone that's creative and um, loves Hey Hara. I mean, to me, above all, that would be the requisite is they be from Hey Hara and they love Hey Hara. Um, and that, that they will work diligently and tirelessly for the benefit of Hey Hara. So we just didn't feel at this time that an income was the right way to go. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.